Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. And today we got to see the New York City Comic Con teaser trailer for upcoming thing, upcoming content in Marvel Future Fight. And the reason why I say things or things is because the trailer is actually, and I don't want to kill your hype, but it's actually quite vague. So without talking too much about it, without you seeing it, in case you haven't seen it yet, let's play the trailer right now. Um, we'll do sort of a live reaction to it, um, and we'll talk about what exactly we're seeing here. Um, so it's pretty well done in terms of the artwork. Uh, it looks cool. We've got different colors. It kind of zooms in here. We've got um, you know some sort of creature it turns into a uh, symbol, which is pretty cool. And then it zooms out. We get this you know the world again. But then we go back in and we get the same sort of pattern here with different animals transforming into different um, symbols. It's got a lot of uh, cool art style. I really do like the art style. I like the music and I like the camera shifts uh, from sort of zoom ins up close to sort of wider angle shots of the world and of, of sort of a map. We have this sign um, and then we have this. Uh, and it says, stay tuned for more. Now, yeah, there's, it, it's pretty hard to make sense of that because a lot of it is just imagery, there's no text. There's nothing, there's nothing in-game being shown, so y you're left with a lot of question marks, a ton of question marks. Now, I gotta give it up to you guys in the comments over on YouTube, but I saw it as well on Twitter, on Reddit, on Discord, uh, saying stuff like, you know, hey guys, it's the Ninja Turtles, <laughs> we're getting the Ninja Turtles in Marvel Future Fight. Uh, it gives you vibes of things like Avatar, it gives you vibes of, you know, a lot of different things from other medias and from other mediums like TV shows, movies, other games. And I think that is actually quite accurate once you actually look into what this means. So now I want to try to break things down for you as best as I understand it. So we start off with this uh, zoom in of the world, but as you can, well, as you as you figure out, as, as sort of different places start to um, get highlighted, um, this is actually like the ocean is here, and then the the lighter color is the is the earth. But this so this is China. If that gives you a, a better um, sort of grounding for where we are in the world, that's the Philippines with the sort of you know hundred islands. Um, and then we've got over here. So this is Taiwan. This is Vietnam. This is Thailand. And these and or this is Malaysia. So we're looking at four uh, Asian countries. Um, and then they're colored with four distinct colors. We've got blue, white, red, and green. And then when we zoom into each color, starting with uh, Vietnam, we see that they are related to four different, uh, you could call them like magical beasts or mythical beasts. Um, and then, of course, that corresponds to the four different uh, icons or sort of like emblems. So this would be a blue dragon, which is pretty straightforward. Um, the one for Thailand is a white, uh, it looks like a tiger. Which is funny because we have White Tiger in Marvel Future Fight right now. I don't think it references the existing character. We go over to Taiwan and it is a green tortoise. At first I thought it was a snake, to be perfectly honest with you. But it's a tortoise, uh, or like a, a turtle. Uh, and then we go over to Malaysia and we see a boat sinking. But it's not a boat, it's actually a bird. And it obviously, um, because of the red color and because of the fire that's taking down the boat, it is a bit reminiscent of a phoenix. Although I don't think that they're trying to reference phoenix again because the... the the update just came out and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, and then we have this sign here. From what I've understood from my research on Reddit for the most part, this sign is either for sky or for sort of like heaven slash divine. And the heaven slash divine is, a, I think, a much more accurate uh, rendition of what this is supposed to mean or how it's supposed to reference to everything else we're seeing here. We see the four colors shoot down. Uh, and transform into these four icons here. And it says, of course, stay tuned for more. YouTube's having a hard time pausing at the right time. So you can see them sort of flying in, um, and then it lands here. So we've got, you know, dragon, tiger, tortoise, uh, bird. Now, uh, let's go back and do a little bit of, uh, you know, let's go back and do a little bit more detective work because there's, there's a little bit more that can sort of tie these things together and make it seem even more um, confirmed that what we're actually looking at is, well, what we think we are looking at. So if we go over to uh, Danny Koo's Twitter page, um, we can see that a few, uh, not, a, not quite an hour, like a few minutes, maybe 10 minutes, 20 minutes before the Marvel Games panel that showed this teaser trailer was posted or went live, I guess. Um, he started a, a series of tweets in different languages uh, that correspond to uh, the, the the countries that we're talking about. So this is Vietnamese. This is I think uh, Thai. 
uh, and so on and so forth. I don't want to make any mistakes, so I don't want to guess too much. But anyways, you know, Malaysia, tying in like the languages of Malaysia, Thailand, Vietnam, and Taiwan. Um, and then when you Google trans or when you Twitter translate those, they translate to the West is ready or something roughly like that. The East is ready, the North is ready, and the South is ready. So then you go further on Twitter, and actually shout out to someone on uh, Line Chat who linked me to this person's Twitter, who's at the Marvel Games um, panel at New York City Comic Con, and is tweeting about all of the games, so you can go and check them out if you want to get more information. Um, but they said, Marvel Future Fight doing something with Seiru, uh, Byako, Genbu, Suzaku on a map. The gods are also directions. Um, and then it flashed the character for heaven. Literally, it was the most vague teaser ever. I completely agree. I once knew it was from dragon to tiger. It's something based on the Chinese constellations, and it looks like maybe a new regional battle system. So we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, and then they say they knew about this because of Final Fantasy and stuff like that. So then if we go to not the most reliable source in the world, but it's, it's still somewhat reliable. If we go over to Wikipedia and we look up the four symbols. So these are four mythological creatures appearing among the Chinese constellations, which is exactly what uh, this person, Aim High Amy, said, along the ecliptic uh, and viewed as the guardians of the four cardinal directions. So cardinal directions being north, south, east, and west. And then if you go over, it says they're the four guardians, the four gods, and the four auspicious beasts. And we've got the azure or blue dragon of the east, the vermilion or red bird, uh, the white tiger, and the black tortoise. In this case, we have a green tortoise, but that's okay. Um, and then it says they're most closely associated with a cardinal direction and a color, but then they also represent other things. And they have been culturally important across countries in the Eastern, uh, in the East Asian cultural sphere. So this is, although these are Chinese constellations, or they're referring to these mythological beasts that appear in Chinese constellations, it appears that the impact um, throughout history and now culturally uh, applies to a lot of different Eastern Asian uh, cultural uh, countries, not just China. You can see that sort of dark blue highlight actually ticks off all of the countries um, that we saw on the teaser, except for, I believe, Thailand and Malaysia. Those two are actually missing, but, you know, whatever. There's, I mean, not whatever, but, like, they're still, that doesn't, this doesn't necessarily mean that this relates to Marvel Future Fight, because this is Wikipedia, so it's not, they're not actually connected to one another, but I'm just trying to show uh, that there is a connection, because Personally, I'm gonna I'm gonna be really honest with you here, guys. I'm in pretty unfamiliar waters. I have very little knowledge. I have extremely shallow knowledge of things like Chinese constellations and East East Asian culture. Uh, even though I lived in Korea for three years, I didn't immerse myself in cultures of all around Asia. I really just focused on Korean culture, um, which is which this is not included in. And although I did see certain things and I did you know learn certain things that do borrow from Chinese culture, I don't want to make any sweeping statements or any generalizations. So I don't because I don't want to offend anyone, uh, and I don't want to really speak without knowing. I don't want to sound ignorant. Um, but yeah, so what can we really gather from this teaser? Honestly, to, to be perfectly honest, there's nothing we can gather from this teaser other than something new is coming. However, if I were to speculate, and this is, again, this is my speculation, this is not what we can gather, because what we can gather from this teaser is very little. And some people might like these kinds of teasers, some people might, might dislike these kinds of teasers, but I do have to say it's extremely vague. And usually vague teasers are not that great. They're decent for drumming up some kind of curiosity and some kind of hype, but usually it leads people to be confused. And confusion is not something you want to associate with hype because hype plus confusion usually equals sort of, you know, people who don't know what's going on and might just disregard it because they don't know what's going on. So yeah, personally, I'm not the biggest fan of these sort of super vague teasers, but Marvel appears to be doing them a lot more often because if you guys watch the Realm of Champions teaser as well, it was also super vague. I mean, there was a bit more to go on because you saw some actual in, you saw some sort of like, not in-game art, but you saw a little bit of artwork um, and you got a little bit more of a feel for what that game is going to be, but it was still super vague. So I think they're just, you know, following up their sort of uh, plan for sort of trying to build hype slowly with these sort of announcements way ahead in the future um, and things that are just, you know, really vague and sort of just symbolic. I think they're really just going for symbolism here and this has obviously a heavy um, East Asian feel to it. But one thing I do want to say for my own personal speculation is that looking at these icons or looking at these sort of um, images, they look 
quite similar if we go back over to uh, Danny Koo's Twitter page. Just give me just a quick second here. Um, they look quite similar to the icons for uh, White Fox, Luna Snow, and Crescent. So you can see here White Fox has her sort of white fox or like a fox head uh, icon here. And it's also it's also here. Um, if we go over to Luna, we know that she has that classic sort of um, snowflake with a moon on top. That's sort of been her, her symbol. You can see it in the O on Luna Snow. You can see it on her belt. Uh, and that's everywhere in the game. And that's been in a lot of promotional art for Luna Snow as well. When she got her tier three and her new uniform last year, you had the Sharon Rogers shield symbol and the Luna Snow sort of uh, icicle moon symbol, Luna Snow. Um, and then for Crescent, it is this symbol right here, which is sort of her mask upside down with the, the moon or sort of the Crescent symbol uh, up above it. And actually, those three icons were the icons uh, in Danny Koo's old um, banner here on Twitter. He also had the Morgan Le Fay icon from that update because those characters were all introduced at the same time. Morgan Le Fay being the villain of the heroic quest for White Fox and also just being the villain generally speaking against Crescent uh, and then Luna Snow being worked in there as well with the Andromeda uniform. But now he's changed his banner as you can see to these four new icons. So I think a lot of people are going to be speculating, I think, two things. The first thing a lot of people are going to speculate is that these are new characters. And that makes sense um, because four icons that are different uh, and four different colors, it just makes sense that these would be characters because they're so vastly different. Usually if it's something like a game mode, um, it has one unique theme that's that's persistent throughout. I mean, this could still be a game mode, and I think that's the second most popular uh, suggestion or speculation that people are going to have, because as soon as you see a map, especially given we have things like Alliance Conquest already in Marvel Future Fight, when you see things like this, when you see a map, your first guess is, oh man, this is a new game mode, or perhaps it's a reworked game mode, or perhaps it's some sort of new alliance system um, in terms of, you know, separating alliances into different factions, sort of the way that Pokemon does it with red, blue, and yellow. I don't know what it's called. That I can't remember what the three factions are called, sorry. Um, but perhaps alliances will be part of a sort of larger faction, and then they will do some sort of competition within their faction, or perhaps they'll do competitions against all of the other uh, three factions, and then at the end of the month or at the end of a season, whichever faction has the most points based on some criteria will get some rewards. Uh, and so you could have rankings like that. You know, you have the the sort of the, the blue um, the blue dragon faction and a certain number of alliances will automatically join that one or, or be automatically placed into that one. You have the white tiger faction, you have the um, red, or no, this, this one, no, yeah, the green tortoise faction and the red uh, bird faction. I don't know, could be characters, could be new game modes. Uh, personally, yeah, that's that's pretty much all I have to say. It's, it's a big, big question mark. It's cool to see them doing new things. I'm, I'm happy that Marvel Future Fight is getting uh, some attention at something like New York City uh, Comic Con because until now it's just been um, Marvel Contest of Champions and other Marvel games. So it's really nice to see them doing that and uh, hopefully they can drum up more interest for the game and more players will join because you know you want to grow the community. We want more people to play this game. It's more fun with more people, more social aspect, all that sort of things. But at the same time, I am puzzled. I'm extremely puzzled at what this could mean. Is it new characters? Is it a new game mode? Is it something else that we're totally overlooking? I don't know, but it is Marvel Future Fight, so we know for absolute sure this is gonna be you know, actual game stuff. This is not gonna be comic books or any sort of out of game stuff. This is definitely coming to Marvel Future Fight. Now, the last thing I wanna say is I'm not really sure that this is going to be coming in the new update in October. Now, there is a confirmed update for the third week of October, roughly, because that is when the Star Agents are going to get access to the new APK, which has been, for the last two months, the indicator that a new update is coming. So it's it's about a, it's about two weeks away now, um, given that we're already, well, a bit more than two weeks, uh, given that we're already on the 4th of October. So we're almost there, um, but, it, you know, seeing this and seeing that there's no in-game uh, graphics or sort of teasers, this is not your traditional... Um, you know sneak peek this is not what these look like at all it's too there's too much to the sneak peek and there's also too little to the sneak peek there's too much sort of world building here but there's also too little there's like zero in-game content there's zero character models there's zero game mode you know, you know uh, showing off and so because of that my guess also is that this is not for 
the next update but this is going to be for the future possibly if the next update is the last update of the year or the second last update of the year this could be for the last update of the year or this could be for 2020 because we're almost on the cusp of the new year so with that being said let me know what you think of the new york city uh thank you so much for the invitation but sorry thank you so much for the uh or sorry uh let me know what you guys think of the new york city comic-con teaser trailer for marvel future fight uh yeah and and what your thoughts are on it and your speculation subscribe if you enjoy the content hit the like if you enjoyed the video and of course if you like what you see i hope to see you again tomorrow take care